Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to learn the multiplication problems. Okay, now for multiplication, the first thing we have to know are the tables. Okay, so we have to be perfect in tables to do the multiplication. Okay, now there are some set of rules that we follow while multiplying. So let's see them. Any number, when we multiply it by 1, the answer will be the number itself. Okay. If I multiply 2 into 1, the answer will be 2 itself. If I multiply 20 into 1, the answer will be 20 itself. Okay. So this is the first rule of multiplication. Any number multiplied by 1 is the same number. Okay. Now the second rule. Any number when multiplied by 0, the answer is going to be 0. Okay. If I multiply 8 into 0, the answer will be 0 itself. Okay. If I multiply 15 into 0, the answer will be 0. So any number multiplied by 0, the answer will be 0. Okay. Next, add a 0 onto the original number when multiplied by 10. Now let's take an example. If I am multiplying 3 into 10. So what will be the answer? Just to the original number, I am going to add a 0 at the end. Okay, so 30 will be the answer. Okay, add a 0 onto the original number when multiplied by 10. Here the original number is 3. 3 into 10, here again I will write 3 and I will add a 0. Okay, so these are the three basic rules for multiplication. Now let's do some problems. Now here the first example I have given a single digit multiplication. 5 into 6. So what we are going to do? 6 5s are. We are going to multiply 6 5s are. So 6 5s are 30. So how I will write this? Here I will write 3 and just below this 1's place I will write 0. Okay. 6 5's are 30. Okay, this is the single digit problem. Now let's see one more single digit multiplication here. 8 into 4. So how I will do the multiplication? 4 8's are. 4 8's are. What is the answer? 4 8's are 32. So how I will write? 3 and in this one's place I will write 2. 32. Okay. So this is the way we are going to do the single digit multiplication. Now let's see the multiplication in which two digit numbers are involved. Okay. Yes. see 25 into 3. So how I am going to do this problem? First I am going to multiply 3 into 5. I am going to multiply 3 into 5. So what is 3 5's are? 3 5's are 15. So how I will write 15 is a two digit number. So here I will write 1 as a carryover. Okay. And then here I will write 5. 15. Okay. 1 I have written as a carryover. Here I will write 5. Now I will do the multiplication of 3 into 2. Okay. First I have done this 3 into 5. Then I am going to do 3 into 2. So 3 2's are 6. Then 6 plus 1. The answer is 7. Okay. I hope you understood it. Let's understand with one more problem. See. 36 into 4. So first I am going to do 4 6. 4 into 6. So what is 4 into 6? 4 6 are 24. So it is a two digit number. Again I will give here a carry over. Here 2 I will write and here I will write 4. So 4 6 are 24. Next. Now I will do 4 3's are. 4 3's are 12. Now in 12 how much I will add? 2. So 13 14. So here I will write 14. So 36 into 4 is 144. Okay, let's see few more examples so that it will be clear to you. 12 into 6. 
Now whoever knows the table of 12, they can directly solve it. 12, 6 are and they can write the answer. But if you don't know the table of 12, let's try to solve it. Now see, first I am going to do 6, 2's are. 6, 2's are 12. So, here I will write the carryover and here I will write 2. Okay. Next, 6, 1's are 6. 6 plus 1, 7. So, I will write here 7. So, 12, 6's are 72. Got it? Now, let's do one more problem. 29 into 7. Now, let's do this. 7, 9's are how much? 63. So, here carry over I will write 6 and here I will write in the 1's place 3. Okay. Then 7, 2's are 14. Now, in 14 we are going to add 6. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So, here I will write 2, 0, 20. So, 29 into 7 is 203. Okay, I hope the multiplication is clear to you. Let's do few more problems. Now, now next one. 30 into 5. So, let's start. 5 zeros are, here we have already seen that any number into 0 is 0. So, 5 zeros are, here 0 will be coming. Okay, next 5 threes are 15. So, here I will write 15. So, the answer is 150. Okay. Next, 62 into 3. First, 3 2's are 6. Next, 3 6's are 18. So, here I will write 18. Okay. Next, 91 into 4. 4 1's are 4. Next, 4 9's are. 4 9's are how much? 36. So, here I will write 36. Okay. So, I hope the multiplication problems are clear to you. First, you have to multiply this number with the 1's digit number. Then, we have to move to the 10's digit number. If it is a 3 digit problem, next we have to move towards the 100's digit number. Okay. In the coming videos, I will even teach the 3 digit multiplication. Okay. I hope this basic multiplication problems are clear to you. If you enjoyed this video, do give it a like, share this video and subscribe to our channel. Bye.